All right, welcome to another video on the Project Corner. Today I'm going to look at the new flow templates that were designed for Project for the Web. There's two flows and they're both related to notifying your team members. So let's dive in. Before we do, hit that like button and click on subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. Uh, it helps the channel a lot as well as motivating me to create more content for you. Without further ado, it is very easy to find these new two templates because currently they are the only two templates for Project for the Web specifically. So I'll put a link to the blog article in the show notes. And uh, once you are in flow.microsoft.com, just type in the search uh, bar uh, Project for the Web and you'll see these two new templates show up. Uh, one is a daily reminder of project tasks that you still have running or running late even. And the other one is a notification email that you get when there is a new assignment made by a project manager for Project for the Web uh, within one of the uh, schedules. So let's start with the daily project reminders. This is a very extensive uh, flow and I'm not going to go through all the steps but suffice to say that it runs on a recurrence uh, it grabs some items from the uh, Office 365 user group as well as the common data service uh, which recently was renamed to Dataflex but not yet in uh, Power Automate it seems and as a last step it will create an email and it will send that out to you to you as a team member of that schedule or that schedules because it will send one email for all of the projects that you are assigned to and had late tasks in our upcoming tasks so let's click on continue and from here you see that all the things that it does uh, it does a whole lot uh, grabbing uh, grabbing variables creating variables um, there is conditions happening here and at the last point, it will create an email. Now this email is only sent when there is at least one upcoming late task. So you won't be spamming your user base on every new task that is coming. But once this is, um, once this is created, you can click on save. Uh, you might need to trigger some of the permissions at the start, but other than that, you're good to go. So let's see what comes out of this flow. Uh, navigating to Outlook. So because I already have this flow running a couple of times, you'll see uh, I have gotten them every single day, uh, which is one of the improvements that I would like to address in just a moment. Here's that very nice email as a result from that flow. So what it does, it counts the number of project tasks that are late or overdue or due within the next uh, seven days, uh, tasks that are late uh, and tasks that are upcoming. Now upcoming looks at the next seven days, but you can navigate to each of these projects as well as a, a single task. So let's have a look at that project, the new stuff. This was one of the feature release videos that I've done. Uh, so this is the task that is very late, obviously, because I haven't done anything to it after, uh, after cre creating that video. So yeah, start of the year uh, 2020. And this is that single task. So you can even zoom into one single task instead of um, having to look and loop through a schedule which can be uh, bigger than just the five lines that I have here. So this is very nice. This is a good example of what Flow can do for you in Project for the Web. Uh, there are short alterations that I would like to make in this flow. One of the alterations is the title of this email. I, I typically don't like exclamation points there. Uh, one other thing that I would like to do is not having a reminder every single day because that will land in my spam folder uh, faster than you can say project for the web. So these two alterations, I'm going to show you how to create them. So we're going to go to manage my flows 
and here is that um, here is that project for the web task reminder alteration if we go into the edit button here you will see that I have changed the recurrence to being once a week and you might want to see if once a month might need not be uh, too granular for you but I would not like to have an email every day uh, reminding me of things that I haven't done yet so maybe once a week or once a month will be enough so for now let's set it to a week and why a week that uh, well that is because uh, further down the line there is this iteration through the bookable resources and there is a assignment and a tasks and a loop through assignments and a check if it is due in the next seven days so if you have this alteration uh, of maybe sending an email once a month you might want to alter that seven days to actually being 30 days because you want to give them a heads up of what is upcoming for the next month before they get their next email so here you would have the add days and then there is this seven here you might want to change that to 30 or 31 days and once you've changed this you can also change the recurrence to being less frequent than a week uh, setting that to maybe a month one other thing that I would like to address in uh, this template is that exclamation point that is at the end of the flow and it is sending an email and that email has a task reminder and in this version I have stated that as being you have late tasks in projects that is less evasive less less uh, demanding than the original with the exclamation point so if you would like to have this uh, version of the template uh, you only need to subscribe to the newsletter uh, there's a link in the show notes and you will be sent a link to all the content that I have on my current videos including this template and the one that's coming up so the second template that was shared uh, is a email notification on new assignments in projects when we click on this we also see that again this is a common data service or data flex pro type of connector and it looks at new assignments uh, coming through the common data service which is the back end of project for the web then it does something with the Office 365 users and it will eventually send an email. So once this all, uh, once all the permissions are set to green, you can click on continue and you will create this nice little flow. Just like the other flow, uh, all I need to do is click on save and I'm good to go. And there is another email being sent every time there is an assignment. So let's uh, have a look at an example for that. And if we look at assigned, you have been assigned to a task by Erik van Herk. And it is a task with the task name and a project name. So just like the other flow, uh, these are clickable links and you can click on this to navigate to the schedule. And you can click on this link to navigate to the project task. Now, one of the alterations and actually the only alteration I would like to do here is because this is such a short email, I would rather have this in Microsoft Teams. And if you're familiar with this uh, channel so far, you have seen me create adaptive cards before. Uh, so what I've done is I've created an adaptive card and uh, it says typically the same and it will be sent to a chat uh, within uh, Microsoft Teams. So as an example, here are a couple of them. Um, you do need to have the Flow app installed on your team, uh, on your team's environment, but that is done by clicking on, clicking on the ellipsis and clicking on Flow here. Once that's done, uh, you will be ready to receive Flow notifications. Um, and one of those Flow notifications is this one. So Erik van Herk has assigned you to a task with 
the name of the task and in the project new video project. So let's click on task one. And one of the things that I noticed when I was changing this is that uh, the task ID is in all caps. Well, this is something that you do want to uh, be aware of because if you don't have that as full caps, uh, it will actually not show you this pop-up menu. So let me have that as an example. So this one is full caps and this one is without full caps. So let's have a look at that. Now this is the same project and it is the same task that I have here in the task ID because but because I don't have this as uppercase, it will not show you that project task. So let's see that again. I have the one with the two upper, which is the, uh, the formula that you need to use. Here is that same result, uh, but with that uh, task one surfaced as a menu. So let's have a look at the, uh, the flow and how that actually is edited compared to the send the email version. And navigating to the new assignments in Project for the Web, I can now have a look at those new assignments and see what I have done differently. So the first part is the same as the uh, original, as well as this section here. Everything is the same, but instead of sending that email, I'm posting this as an adaptive card uh, as the flow bot to a user. And within this adaptive card, I choose the username, which is the person that got the new uh, assignment. And then the message comes from that adaptive cards designer that we've seen in previous videos. One thing that I want to point out is that task ID having the uppercase, uh, that is actually an expression that you need to use. So we'll take the two upper trigger output and we have that uh, task ID value. And that task ID value will now be taken, uh, put in all caps, and will be uh, surfaced as a link here. So these are two uh, alterations to the templates that were shared by Microsoft. I really like them. Just want to uh, tweak a little bit and make them more efficient uh, for a modern user. Uh, compared to getting daily reminders or getting very short emails. Having that in Microsoft Teams makes way more sense. So if you're a subscriber to the newsletter, uh, you will find this uh, notepad with the actual code for that adaptive card, as well as the two template files for Flow itself. Now, if you're new to Project for the Web, I made some feature release videos that you might find interesting. Or you may want to have a look at that other video that I've done about the adaptive cards. Both are on screen now. If you like this video, please click that like button. Consider subscribing. I'm here every other Wednesday. Uh, with that, thank you for watching.